What about the forbidden emerald block one billion dollar upgrade? Yo, what's going on guys? Flurple there here and welcome back to another Minecraft video here on the Skyblock Air PvP Wars server. I'm super excited. Why is that always my thing? I have some plans today. We are going to be checking out some awesome spawners in this one, but I want to mention a couple of things, and normally I wouldn't mention this in the beginning of a video, or I normally do, but I'm trying to avoid it. I don't know if it matters. I'm just going to get into it quick. Number one, this is going to be the main content on the channel for a little bit until the 13th, as another server I record on, which is actually owned by pvp wars as well so i don't feel bad mentioning it skybounds will be releasing its new season i'm waiting for that before i can you know have a mix of content again so this is the main content right now number two i just released a brand new channel it's not a whole lot but i'm really selling it i know if you want to go check it out flirple their shorts it should be in the description if not, it is definitely linked on my about on this channel. As well, I'm going to be uploading a video Tuesday, which will probably have already been passed by the time you see this. And also Friday on the second channel, More Flurpolder, where it is going to be some Fortnite death runs. And I want to do some more on that channel. And on the Clips channel, well, it's just, or the Shorts channel, it's just going to be Clips and stuff from Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Flurpolder. Sorry for the advertisement, let's get into this video. Now, as you guys know, normally when I start these videos, I open one of these crates. I'm going to save this one, and in the next one, I'm going to have my monthly crates from media, and I'm going to have another crate for this one. I'm assuming it's going to be in two days and 16 hours, so roughly, or I'm going to have the monthly crates at the very least. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this, though. Uh, actually, what can I get from it? Star rank, money pet, uh, kill message, sell one. The only good thing is really the star rank. Uh, the sell one two, 1.2 times, 150 use is kind of nice. Uh, the tags, I have a lot of them, so mob coins are always good. There's not really anything in this that's good, other than the keys are alright and the star rank. So, I'm not too worried about opening it right now. What I'm doing for this video is I'm testing out the gas and the magma cube spawner. I obviously have one more gas. Actually, I don't know if I had a gas in the last one. If I didn't have a gas in the last one, I got one from my crate. But unfortunately, it's weird because this one, I think it's this one only, maybe. It says two times gas. I think this one says two times gas. I don't know which one I got gas from. I know I just got one from this just a bit ago. Um, It only gives you one, even though it's supposed to be two. So I should have four, but I have three. Or sorry, two. I don't know, it's weird, but it is what it is. We're gonna go ahead, though, and we're gonna test this out. I think I have enough money. I have $10 billion. There should be enough to test this out. Uh, but that won't be the end of the series. I'm probably gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I might do some envoys for some videos here and there, for sure. Uh, and just make some funny moments out of that, or, you know, whatever. I don't know what the plan is. But I do know I am going to be testing out the farms next using our Harvester hoe. It's going to be super awesome. I also have some other things planned on this server, on the PvP War server. So look out for those videos in the near future. I'm just now waiting on these guys to spawn, you know, any day now. Oh, hey. Let's go ahead and kill you. And we get one Magma Cream, which sells for $22. That's actually not bad. You can't buy them, though. You get an Enchanted Diamond and Enchanted Diamond Block. Let's go and get the Enchanted Diamond. Actually, though, I just realized there's more upgrades for them. How do you get them, though? Because there's this one, the Flare Upgrade, the Inferno Upgrade, the Basalt Upgrade, and the Obsidian Upgrade. None of those are, like, most of those aren't on there. We have the Inferno Upgrade and whatever the second one was. The Obs we do have the Obsidian Upgrade. Hold on. Wait. I swear, actually, let me kill these guys again, just because. Okay, never mind. I was too slow. So we have the Inferno upgrade. So we don't have Flare, and we don't have Basalt, but we have Inferno and Obsidian. So we don't have the second and the third upgrade. We have the, um, or sorry, the first and the third upgrade. We have the second and the fourth upgrade, because that's not an upgrade, that's the base. I wonder if, I wonder if that comes from the special shop. Or maybe the star sh No, the special shop is, yes, that. I wonder if it comes from the star shop, from the star rank shop, or the outpost shop, potentially. But let's go ahead and test out these enchanted diamonds. They sell for 1,500 per. That's very good. 
that's a very good upgrade. Obviously, these guys are rare to get, but that's worth it. Let's go ahead and check out the Enchanted Diamond Block, the Obsidian Magma Q upgrade for $980 million. That is insane. Obviously, these guys, you can't buy them in the Slash Shop. So this is technically not a part of the main testing. As you guys know, I did the testing, and I think the final conclusion, I, mean, I might look over it again, was you want to go Sheep Spawner, Base Upgrade, then you want to go slime spawner. I think base upgrade is better than cow. And then upgrade it from there. Um, zombie pigment, first upgrade, golden blocks. Because you, you can upgrade it with uh, IS upgrade. And spend your hard-earned mob coins to make it even more worth, worth even more than the other upgrades that the zombie pigmen have to offer. After that, after zombie pigmen, it was squid. Squid's very good. Um, for the final upgrade, or even the upgrade before that, I think, but definitely you want to go for the final upgrade uh, at the end, and then the Nether Snowmen were good, and the Iron Golems are also really good. Now, for these guys, 12,000? 12? Who's it? What was the one that sells for the most out of mine? I think it was these guys. And if I'm not mistaken, it doesn't sell for anything close to that. That is absolutely insane. Let's test out the gas spawner next. I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek at the upgrades. Actually, no. No, no. No, we're gonna not. What do we get? So we get gas tier and, uh, uh, uh yes. So about, uh, minimum it would be 22 if you got one in one. Not, not the worst. It's a it's the same as slime, roughly. Uh, if we go to the emerald upgrade, ooh, so this is roughly the same as retro with the emeralds, except I think it was just emerald blocks. So you just get straight up emeralds, which sell for 150 per. Not bad. Um, was the other upgrade better? What was the price? Do I still have it up? The enchanted diamond was 1,500 per? That was the first upgrade of this, right? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's a more expensive up or it's a more expensive upgrade, higher tier, technically magma cube spawner or upgrade, but it does sell for more than just a base emerald, which is important to note that it would be more it would be worth more to invest in that first upgrade of magma cube versus gas, at least to start off. Enchanted emerald, what will you offer me? This is basically the same as the other one. I'm assuming if I had to guess. Looking at the IS worth menu, I'd assume this would drop normal diamonds, this would drop enchanted diamonds, this would drop diamond blocks, and this would drop enchanted diamond blocks. Which means that these other upgrades, which by the way, aren't on the list here of this, I wonder if they count. Hmm, that's important to note. I don't know if they count. Um, but the, the, the enchanted emerald, I'd assume would be more. It has to be, what, 1500? It's not. They favor diamonds over emeralds. Good to know. What about the forbidden emerald block? One billion dollar upgrade? I think that's the most expensive single upgrade I've ever seen on a spawner. That is absolutely insane. Hey, I'm going to take this time before I kill this gas to remind you guys that if you go down below and leave a like on this video, it really helps out the channel. You should do that if you enjoy the content. Subscribe as well. You can always unsubscribe in the future if you end up not enjoying the content anymore let's go ahead and kill this guy i just killed two enchanted diamond block or sorry forbidden diamond block Thirty-two thousand. Thirty-two thousand. this one was twelve thousand for one of these right it's definitely worth it to go for that one but that's one billion you want to invest in these guys after you get all these guys set up if you get any uh, magma cubes you definitely want to invest in them they're far better and actually that upgrade it's 900 million. That's actually, okay, that's actually close to this one. It's almost a billion. You definitely want to invest in that one, though. It seems worth it, uh, price-wise, versus all of these. I can put those in spawners in the future. Am I happy with the ones I have? I'm definitely happy with squids. Um, and then there's these guys, which actually don't sell for a lot. What do they sell for? 60 per? These guys can be replaced, the slimes. They're not that good. So I could put one of them in there. Those guys, definitely good. 
these guys, I think, lack a little bit. 160 per. They're definitely better than the uh, slimes. These guys sell for 2,500. Oh, wait a minute. These technically do sell for more than the others. But actually, let me see something. Comparatively, I think the snowmen spawn in faster. How many iron golems? I have 30, and I have 35 of these. Yeah, the difference in the, in the amount of stuff I got from this compared to that is make snowmen worth it. I see why they're meta. And that's something I didn't actually test was I just tested the price of the spawner versus what you get out of it. Obviously, these guys, when you bring them, when they're so close in price difference between the squids, the snowmen, and the iron golems, the snowmen are the absolute best because they spawn in so quick. They're so easy to kill. You just put water, as you can see. You just you just do the same spawner type you would do for most spawners, at least assuming you do this style. And then all you have to do is fill in the middle area with water in case there's a small chance they could land in there and not die. So you want to have water there so that they do, do go in there and die. Iron golems are also easy to kill and they do spawn in pretty quickly. Squids, uh, they're annoying. Obviously, I just kind of half-assed it and put down a little drop area. Got lucky. But they just drop and die on the on the hoppers, and it all pushes into the middle. There's probably easier ways to do this, but that's just how I did it. Since I can AFK six areas, and they're all... Oops, wrong button. They're all separate chunks. I could technically do, de uh, depending on how many spawners I get, I could do snowmen, for example, since I can buy them. They're the best spawner. One of the best spawners I can buy. Actually, I'd say it's the best spawner I can buy. I could put snowmen in three of these four of these areas even which i might end up doing as i get more money um but i can put them in four of these areas and then leave the extra two out of the six for um gas and magma cubes but uh, i think that's going to be the end of this video it's a little bit of a shorter one i think because i only recorded like 16 minutes hope you guys did enjoy i'll be doing some more pvp wars videos on the channel you probably already have already seen one go up before this video anyways Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did and you haven't yet, go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.